So today, we're going to talk a little bit about our drivetrain. Now we like to use Swerve Drive, and I'll talk about a few of the other drivetrains and why we don't use them in a minute. This is a Swerve module. So essentially what this is, you have two motors, that's these on top, one of them is going to control the direction of the wheel, and the other is going to control the wheel's rotation. We typically will put four of these, you could do more or less, but four is pretty standard. We put one in each corner of a robot. This allows the robot to move any direction in any orientation. Another thing that we used to do is tank drive. Tank drive is just two sets of parallel wheels on each side. One side will either go clockwise or counterclockwise, and if they go in opposite directions, it'll turn the robot. The advantages of tank drive is it's stronger, but it's usually a lot slower and a lot harder to maneuver. This is another option. We could use mechanum wheels, which are just gonna go on a motor that's gonna rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise, but they have all these little things that turn that make it so that when you put four wheels on, depending on which way they're rotating, it can side shift, spin, or whatever. It's like swerve drive. The reason we don't do this is because it's easy to get pushed around because there's nothing keeping all these little wheels on this wheel stationary. It's also much harder to keep track of our odometry, which is just calculating how far and in what direction the robot has moved. We decide to go with swerve drive because it's a good middle ground. Swerve drive is very strong. It's not quite as strong as tank drive, but it's still pretty strong. But we can't be pushed around as much as we could with the mechanum wheels. 